Well, let's start by you describing how tralokinumab is going to be used for the treatment of adults with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. Yeah, so I think it's uh, when when we look at at AD, first of all, it's a very heterogeneous disease. So I think it's it's one of these diseases where, with our current knowledge, we don't actually expect one treatment to to be the solution for all patients. So I think in general, what uh, will be needed in the field is more uh, treatments to to come out, and and uh, one of uh, the uh, the unique ones, of course, is, is tradokinumab, which is unique in the sense that it, provided it achieves regulatory approval, will be the first selective IL-13 uh, biologic uh, that, that people will have uh, to, to treat atopic dermatitis. And I think that's interesting because when, when we look at the science behind it, I13 appears to be uh, the most prominent of the uh, cytokines driving atopic dermatitis. So I think it will be uh, an important treatment for uh, those adults that are suffering from uh, moderate to severe uh, atopic dermatitis. I think uh, another uh, perhaps interesting thing that when, when we look at the data, and I think that more people are beginning to see that as more data come out on on biologic treatment within the field is that it takes a little while until you see the uh, skin clearance. Uh, but the interesting thing is that very early on, patients report uh, significant improvement in both itch and actually also importantly, uh, the uh, dermatology life quality index. So I think uh, for, for physicians also to be uh, cognizant about is, is having these open-ended questions to the patient about how do they feel uh, upon treatment as patients may actually sense uh, sooner than what we can see on the skin that uh, they are, uh, they, the, the treatment is starting to, um, to do its work.